came out of. It's Chloe here again. And guess who I have with me today? Silver Hi. Mist. You haven't seen her in my videos in a while. Been and a little busy lately. Sorry about that. And we got Lucky with us too. Lucky <laughs> hasn't been doing so good. He's been <laughs> He's been uh <laughs> Scratching and biting himself raw on his neck and now back on his tail, so he had to go to an emergency vet visit the other night. You're Not to the emergency vet, just to my vet, but it, it was a, kind of an emergency call. Uh, thankfully, they did have um, an appointment that I could get him in right away. So, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. This is the week of Thanksgiving. Okay, granted it's Saturday, but... It's almost the, it's almost the week of Thanksgiving, and then Sea Dog's birthday is next Friday. So, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to wish Sea Dog a happy birthday, you can do so down in the comments. He's not here right now; he's at work. Um, but yeah, please do uh, comment below. I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. Normally, you see that. <laughs> normally, you see. <laughs> normally. You'll you'll see me at the begin or hear me at the beginning of my videos, um, giving a shout out to all my uh, channel members. Um, however, I'm not going to do that this time because you guys are not commenting very much. Um, some of you, I've got 34 subscribers, but I only get comments from maybe three of you, and so if you want a shout out on my next video, you're going to need to leave a comment below. Okay, Silver Mist is also going to be uh, working on a video soon on her channel, which is not Silver Mist. It is Star Star Shadow Silent Paw. Shadow Silent Paw. Two words: Star Shadow and then Silent Paw. So, go check her out. I do want to give a shout out to Danny. Uh, Danny, I did notice not Danny Sierra Lynn, the other Danny. Uh, Danny Diamond, if you want to check him out, he's got his own channel as well. He does videos on makeup, I guess. Um, Danny, I did notice that you are starting to come out of your show a little more and you're uploading more videos, so congratulations on that. Uh, I miss seeing you. I do notice that uh, some of our old co-workers do mention to me that you have been into my work, but it's usually on the times that I'm not working, so I haven't seen you in a while. So it would be great if you could stop in. I am working the next several days. So if you're available, I would love to see you stop in. I know that you just recently moved and it might not be easy for you to get over but uh, to where I work. But it would be great to see you. So let's talk about Thanksgiving. Um, typical traditions is that we eat turkey mm -hmm. and pumpkin pie and green bean casserole and potatoes and carrots and rolls and jello. stuffing and jello and salads and everything. Okay, enough. But, but we're going to put you down. Say bye, friends. Okay. Traditionally, however, Thanksgiving was not about pigging out and eating as much food as you could possibly eat. It was actually about fasting. Wait, really? Yeah. I didn't actually know that. Yep. I Googled it. Okay. Learning new things. Yeah. Today is a lesson uh, video. <laughs> <laughs> also, please like my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you to my friends and fam. And I would love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. I have lots of videos in... I know, another side note... I have lots of videos in the hopper, but a lot of them I have to edit. And as we've seen, the epic fail from my Irish Fair video from way back in August. Uh, it was supposed to be a 38-minute video that only uploaded like four and a half minutes on YouTube from Filmora, which is the editing software that I use. So if any of you are familiar with Filmora... I use the free version because right now I don't have the money to purchase a year subscription to it, which I know would probably help me considerably. Um, 
But if any of you are familiar with Filmora where you can give me tips on how to upload a longer video. I mean, I've already changed my settings in YouTube so I can upload from Filmora directly into YouTube. But for some reason it's not capturing the whole video so I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, back to Thanksgiving. <laughs> Does Thanksgiving, lot, yeah. tell? Does Thanksgiving really exist anymore? <laughs> That's a really good question. No, seriously, I turned on the radio the last couple days. No, you're absolutely and, right. And one of the one of the uh, stations that I listen to in the, here in the Twin Cities is playing all what I call, and no offense to any of you that listen to this, old fogey Christmas music, huh. like 1950s oh God, Christmas Frank music. Sinatra stuff? Yeah. Like I all mean, the old nothing Christmas against music. Sinatra. Nothing, he yeah. was an amazing singer, but that's not really. But it's our like, thing. why are they playing Christmas music? Why have we been selling Christmas stuff for like a month now? Does Thanksgiving even exist? I really want to know that. Stores don't <laughs> even bless you. Stores don't even close on <laughs> Thanksgiving. Bless you. Stop it. I'm sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> all that freaking dust at the warehouse Christmas? I work at, man, it just gets right in your system. Christmas is so overly commercialized that it takes over our lives. And people are so going to go. They don't even close stores on Thanksgiving anymore. Hmm. People don't really Some celebrate stores. Thanksgiving, I don't think. Some stores close on Thanksgiving, but not very many. Not very many. May I have a sip? Very small sip. She's always getting me for my pop. It's ridiculous. My throat was dry. I needed something to... What anyway, we've only got about 18 minutes here before the video shuts off, which is why my videos aren't usually longer. So back when I first started working retail when I was 16, too many moons ago to, to count, we would not open on Thanksgiving. We were not open on Thanksgiving. We may, op we may have opened like an hour or two earlier than our normal scheduled hours, but... It, and we wouldn't stay lit, open very late either. I think I think our our ending time was the normal time, but we would like on Black Friday or whatever they would open like an hour or two ahead of time for that weekend. But then they'd go back to normal hours, or maybe they'd extend them just a little bit, but not like they do nowadays. And the company I worked for no longer exists. It was a small, dinky little kind of like a Staples, but on a much smaller scale. It was an office uh, office supply store, and they also catered toward t towards teachers. Um, but why don't you tell them the name of the store? It so was called St. Paul Book and Stationery, and they had many stores around the Twin Cities. It was exclusive to just the Twin Cities. Um, <clears throat> but like people go gung ho, and something else I want to discuss with you guys. That kind of goes along with the holidays. When you go to the grocery store, when you go to any kind of a store, don't take out your anger on the cashiers, okay? Please, speaking from experience here, it is not the cashier's responsibility to make sure that all, this, all the prices in the computer system are correct. In my store, I work at a grocery store, in my store, we have a department that is the pricing department. It is their responsibility to make sure all the prices in the system are correct. If you see that a price is wrong, don't be rude about it, okay? It's not our fault. If you have a coupon, please read it correctly and make sure it's not expired. And if the store is short of cashiers, it is also not the cashier's fault. So please, be kind to cashiers this, this holiday season. Give them a smile. Even if you're having a bad day, even if the lines are really long and the cashier is going kind of slow, there may be a reason for that. I am not one of those cashiers. I go really, really fast. But be kind to one another at the store. Be, it doesn't even have to be the cashier. It can be anybody in the store. It could even be other customers in the store you know don't go hog wild at the stores okay and and I will be putting on another video that has to do with Christmas which is going to be probably a longer video 
I won't be a sidetrack because I have a lot to say about Christmas. And those of you that know me really well, you know my rant and ravings about Christmas. There's a reason why this time of year we say peace on earth yes. and goodwill to men. Yes. Half of you don't follow that. <laughs> we're not saying that you folks are that we're talking to don't follow that. But we're saying in general, just be nice to the workers that don't get paid nearly what they are worth. That is one of the main reasons cashiers quit so much. But anyway, comment below what your traditions are for Thanksgiving. For those of you that live in the United States um, or that celebrate Thanksgiving, because I do know that I have, I think I have one or two subscribers that are not from this country. Maybe. I know most of them are like scattered throughout the country. And so... Uh, one other thing I want to say is thank you very much for helping me grow my channel to those of you that know me from other YouTubers like Trilogy Media. Um, you guys are starting to, to come over to my channel. I really appreciate it. I know my videos aren't exactly always exciting, but I'm getting there. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. So be patient with me. Stick with me. Don't, don't unsubscribe from me. Um... And please subscribe to me. And please subscribe to, to Star Most Show, of my Star most Wars. of my videos are in my dance fursuit videos. and they're dance videos because that's what I do. I dance in my fursuit. And if you don't know what that is, leave a comment go for my over mom to her and, channel. Yeah, Just go over come to my to her channel. Go over to my channel, Star Shadow Silent Paw. My mom will put a link in the description if she could figure out yeah, how to I do that. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. And you'll see my latest video. You know, I've got three up so far. I'm working on more. Just trying to find the right songs. And she has to use my camera because she doesn't have one. Well, no, I could use my phone. Oh, yeah, I can okay. use my phone for that. Yeah. Because I did one on my phone when I was at Migration. Oh, okay. Which is a furry convention. In so, Netflix. tell me what your traditions are for Thanksgiving. If you have any traditions. Um, are you guys going to be hosting Thanksgiving? Are you going to go to somebody else's for Thanksgiving? Um, I have heard in recent years that there's this new turn of phrase out called Friendsgiving, where oh, you get funny. together with friends rather than family, and the friends get together. Alonzo Larone, oh my gosh, last year <laughs> did the most funniest <laughs> video ever about cooking a 20-pound turkey in a, in a in a microwave. You have got to check it out. Go to Alonzo. You need to stop so they can hear me. They, go to Alonzo Larone and type in Alonzo Larone how to cook a turkey in a microwave. It is absolutely hysterical. I totally forgot about that video. Too. It is so funny. <laughs> It's obviously a joke because you can't cook a 20-pound turkey. First of all, you can't even get a 20-pound turkey into a microwave. And second of all, why the hell would you cook a turkey in a microwave? <laughs> it's absolutely insane. I'm dying. But to tell you a couple quick... Tell me how, much, how many minutes I have left. Uh, five. Okay. All right, so a couple quick, a couple quick Thanksgiving, funny, funny and kind of depressing Thanksgiving uh, stories. One was when I was living down in Rockford, Illinois, and I was cooking Thanksgiving for my then husband, now ex-husband, and second ex-husband, and his brother and his brother's family, and we were holding it at my house, and I had never cooked a turkey before in my life. Um, and so I was calling up here to my mom to ask her all these questions about, you know, what to do to cook a turkey and, you know, when should I put the potatoes in and the carrots? Cause I was making pretty much the whole meal and about a half an hour, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever, however long you cook the turkey before you baste it again and put the butter on it and all that. I went to open my oven and the oven was ice cold. I had it on. But the oven was ice cold. I had a gas oven and the pilot light went out. We couldn't get it started. My oven died. I was in tears with my mom. Needless to say, it was a very cold day on Thanksgiving that year. But needless to say, 
my now ex-husband cooked the turkey on the grill outside and we didn't have Thanksgiving dinner until about 10 o'clock that night, I think. It was slated for 6, that we were supposed to have dinner at 6. And I think I started the turkey around 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And it was not cooking and we didn't know what to do. And we ended up cooking the turkey on the grill outside, and we didn't have dinner until about 10 o'clock. Maybe I started the turkey later than that. I don't know. In any but case. In any case, it wasn't like a massively big turkey, but... Um, so that was one turkey story. The other one happened just a couple of years ago here at the apartment complex that we live in. Oh, God. This is going to blow your mind. We have turkeys, wild turkeys, that live around here, right? So one year, I was taking a walk inside the building because it was cold, so I took a walk inside the building, and I happened to notice that there was glass outside on the first floor because I started on the first floor, I think. And I'm like, oh, there's like a lot of glass out there, and I didn't know what was going on. So I told the office people, I'm like, somebody better go clean up that glass before somebody lets their dog out and the dog is... It was walking outside in bare feet with glass and it could cut their paws or whatever. Or the kids could go outside and hurt themselves on the glass. Turns out, a turkey... No kidding. Look at this. She can't contain her laughter. A turkey flew through the window of our building, broke its neck, and committed suicide the week of Thanksgiving. I am not kidding you. <laughs> I did not see the turkey. I saw the aftermath. The gla- the, bro- the the window was completely broken out. They had it all boarded up. The turkey literally flew through the window of the of the like main area, not into somebody's apartment, but like through one of the main lobby areas on the third floor. Needless, you know, no no doubt. He flew right, he or she, flew right through the window, broke its neck, and died. (laughs) So, needless to say, during the week of Thanksgiving. So, needless to say, that turkey ended up on one of the residents' tables. (laughs) Literally. He took the turkey home, feathered it, you know, unfeathered it, whatever, cooked it up, did whatever he had to do to the turkey to to cook it up. And that was his free Thanksgiving dinner that year. Ugh. No lie. I know. You guys are all cracking up now, aren't you? Forgot about the suicide turkey. Yeah, the suicide <laughs> turkey. So, because my time is running out now, gonna I'm going to go ahead and sign off at this point. But you can also follow me on Twitter, at ChloeGotLB40. You can follow her on Twitter. I don't remember what my Twitter is. Check out my YouTube channel. It might be under Sonos or is it under Star Shadow? I think I put it under my real name. Okay, well, I don't want to use your real name here. So if she wants to use her real name on her channel, you can go check her out. Um, Check out Danny Diamond down below. Um, I'll try to put a link in of, of his channel down in the description below. Um, leave a comment if you want to be called out next time. Leave a comment. Uh, hit that like button. Subscribe if you aren't already. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm uploading another video, which more will be coming soon. They are going to be older videos, but as soon as I can figure out this editing software. But in any case, I hope you guys all have a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy yourselves. Don't stuff yourself too much. Don't do a lot of shopping on Thanksgiving. Spend it with your family and friends. And be and, careful on Black Friday. Yes, please. There's crazy people out there. I hope you're not one of them. And I'm glad on Black Friday. Yeah. So, you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Um, and I will be making more videos very shortly. Okay? So, 